Hi everyone, I'm Maya and you're watching AGC Reviews and this is part of my bed bug series uh, which I very much stress that everyone should watch and share and uh, one thing I wanted to touch base on was uh, acceptance um, which is something I read up on uh, in the blog post in The Gothamist. Uh, they basically interviewed Billy Swan. He is uh, an exterminator and um, you know there are all these statistics and whatnot saying that um, you know bed bug infestations have gone down significantly since that huge outbreak epidemic a few years back and what Billy is basically saying is that that is so so untrue and the reason for that being uh, because people have become you know, uh, they, they're they accepting it more as opposed to, you know, uh, um, I guess admitting to the fact that they have an infestation and they're basically treating it as an average, you know, cockroach or whatever insect crawling through the house. The thing is, is that they're not insects, um, they are parasites and they will suck your blood and they are basically eating you when you're asleep. And you don't feel them because, um, if I'm not mistaken, they numb the area that they're biting. And you might feel a little pinch, but you're sleeping, so you don't really, um, you know, notice it or realize it. And what's happening is he's saying he's walking into homes or walking into areas where there are infestations, and people are just not even paying it any mind. He mentions mainly that it's foreigners. Uh, unfortunately, you know, um, you know, foreigners, they don't necessarily speak English well or they don't understand well enough. So they don't necessarily understand the concept of a parasite, you know, uh, multiplying inside their home and biting them and, and you know, causing these allergic, aller allergic effects, etc. And, um... You know, this is why I want to stress to, you know, if, if anybody, you know, sees this video and your parents are foreigners, they don't speak the language 100%, they don't necessarily necessarily know about bed bugs, um, you know, please educate them because if they do have a bed bug infestation, if they don't take care of it, it can obviously spread, not to mention who in the world would want a wall, a moving wall of bed bugs. I mean, I think it's pretty ridiculous to think that anybody would want that. And no one is willingly bringing it into their home. It happens because, you know, you're sitting somewhere where someone else sat and they carried it with them. That bed bug decided to just, you know, jump off of that one person and hang out until you sat down and then you ended up bringing it to your home. So you can easily, easily get it. And uh, acceptance is not an option. These bugs need to be exterminated. They need to be annihilated. They need to be gone. They multiply rapidly. They can basically take over your home within just a few months. And um, I don't remember the numbers exactly. I have to, you know, touch base on that with the rep that came by. Uh, NYC Pest Control, they were nice enough to, you know, give me some information and educate me. They sent me, um, you know, uh, they sent a rep out to give me all this information. So I want to educate you and I really, really stress that please, please share these videos. It is so, so important. Um, another thing, it's not just foreigners, it's also the elderly. Um, you know, the elderly, they, he mentioned that maybe they're desensitized so they don't feel it or, uh, you know, they can't see, you know, 100% so they can't necessarily see the bite marks um, and uh, they can't necessarily see their wall moving with bed bugs, you know, a bed bug infestation. So they don't know. So if you know someone elderly where, you know, unfortunately not everybody takes care of their elderly, you know, parents, grandparents and things like that. If you know some someone elderly that doesn't have someone constantly visiting them or, you know, someone elderly that doesn't have family or family close enough to visit them, first of all, you're doing a wonderful deed by visiting them and, you know, giving them companionship, even if it's for just a few minutes. But you're also, you have a chance to maybe scan, scan around to see if there's any signs of infestation. Because keep something in mind. If, you know, if you're living next to an, an elderly uh, couple or an elderly, you know, uh, individual and they have an infestation, chances are that's going to get to you at some point. So you do want to catch that as soon as possible because, uh, you know, once there's an infestation along, a, you know, a few apartments or whatnot, it is very difficult to get rid of them. It's a huge process. It's very time consuming and it's not it's pretty pricey because these bugs, they are very difficult to, you know, handle and very difficult to, um, you know, completely uh, annihilate and, and 
bring down to zero. Uh, they multiply so rapidly that you really want to take care of it as soon as possible. So please, please share these videos. Make people more aware. Uh, you know, let's help educate everyone and, 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 you know, raise awareness for this because we definitely need to take care of it. So just because, you know, articles and statistics are saying that the amount of bed bug infestations has gone down significantly, it's a load of hoo-ha. It's because people are starting to accept the fact that they have bed bugs. Do not accept it. Take care of it. Handle it. You want to invest the money that it takes in order to take care of it. Lastly, he mentions that uh, unfortunately landlords... Um, they're not they're not keeping up their end of the deal of you know keeping their tenants safe and protected if someone in your building does have a bed bug infestation um you know from what i understand from the article a lot of landlords they don't want to spend the time and the money to check the uh the surrounding apartments and what billy swan was saying in this article um is that you don't you're not supposed to just check the you know the apartment to the right or left of you it's also the apartment above you and below you because they go through the cracks in the walls if you have light fixtures they can go through that they can go through if I'm not mistaken heating systems vents outlets all these little cracks and areas that you wouldn't think about they can crawl through them so if you live in an apartment building and you've heard of you know someone in the apartment building getting an infestation you definitely want to have your you know your home inspected or look for signs yourself um i'll do another video with uh you know different signs uh, to look out for as well hope you like it and again please share these videos have a great day